Hi, Courtney. That's right. I am joined here exclusively right now uh, on the site of the Reagan National Defense Forum by Steve Sange, the microchip technology founder, CEO, and chairman. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So microchip, microchip has been in the news uh, this week. Stock ended the day higher today, ended the week higher as well. Revenue and EPS guidance, you narrowed the range. Uh, is it safe to say that the inventory correction that's been taking place at the company is largely behind? Well, the inventory correction has been happening for several quarters, and we saw a number of indicators in terms of total backlog, bookings, that when you look at it, it would show that it looks like an inflection point. But I didn't coil, call it the bottom because of the uncertainty that still exists. And we do not know whether the tariffs that are scheduled to go on on December 15 will go on or not, or will there be a phase one settlement or not. So because of all that uncertainty, I didn't quite call it the bottom, but the bookings and indicators sort of show the inflection point. Okay, I want to dig into the trade stuff a little bit sure. more in just a moment, but in terms of where you are seeing some strength in bookings, where is it? Uh, strength is coming from China and Asia, less so from U.S. and Europe. Huh, okay. Yes. So, and that's even with the uncertainty of all the tariff and trade stuff. Partially because the inventories went too low, you know, and customers have been draining it for a while, and the distributors have been draining it for a while. So trade or no trade, they got to build some stuff, and finally they are placing the bookings to start building that stuff. Given the fact that we're here at one of the biggest, really most elite defense forums uh, in the world, I would say each year, um, certainly China will be a topic of conversation. Above and beyond trade talks, this idea of IP theft, tech transfer, um, issues of national security. How do you see it through the semiconductor lens? So, you know, we're one of the largest suppliers of semiconductors to the aerospace and defense uh, companies. And um, there is really a debate about trusted microelectronics or assured microelectronics or what the definition might be. The basic issue is lots of semiconductors today are built in China and Taiwan and other countries, so they're subject to hacking and, you know, uh, counterfeit parts and have, you know, malicious software and things like that. There's a lot of risk. And for our security purposes, a lot of the microelectronics for our defense and aerospace purposes should really be built in this country, and there's a debate going on, and I think we can be part of the solution because we build a fair amount of stuff on shore in our own fads. It's interesting to hear you talk about it that way. We had T.J. Rogers, um, founder of Cypress Semi, on CNBC earlier this week, and, and one of the points he made is that, yes, there's a decoupling that's been happening between American and Chinese tech, but that it started long before the trade war, arguably a couple years ago, uh, when the Chinese said we're establishing a fund and we're going to start building more of our own technology, our own semiconductors. How do you see it? So uh, he's right. It, you know, Chinese started a fund and they have been building their own stuff, but it picked up steam from three different events. So a couple of years ago, there was an injunction on ZTE when uh, ZTE apparently sold some equipment to Iran, uh, violating the embargo. So U.S. government said nobody can ship to ZTE. So other companies, eventually we were able to ship to ZTE, but the companies got a message that it was dangerous to use a U.S. product because you could get an embargo. And then two years later, there was an embargo on uh, Huawei. Um, so series of these events have happened, and now there are tariffs. So bang, 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 ZTE, then Huawei, then tariff. There's a concern on the part of Chinese customers that if you design a U.S. product, you could have embargo put on and your business could be hurt. All right. Well, Steve Sangi, thank you for joining us today. We're going to leave it there.